Imagine it was your job to manage all of the statistical models that are used across your organization. Who's using the models? When did they use them? How healthy are the models? Are they still performing accurately as predicted? Sounds like a lot of responsibility. SAS Model Manager streamlines the tedious and often error-prone steps of creating, managing, monitoring, and deploying analytical models, ensuring their accuracy and usefulness. In this short demo, we'll take a look at SAS Model Manager as being used by a financial services company. But this example could naturally apply to any industry. We're now looking at the interface of a typical SAS BI dashboard. Across the top, we have some indicators around different projects that we have in deployment. We see projects for customer retention, new accounts, credit cards, probability to default, and more. The traffic lighting easily shows that those projects with the green indicator are in good health. Yellow ones may be something we need to investigate, but the one that has our attention is the red indicator for customer retention. There's something wrong with the model that's being used for this project. The indicators at the bottom left show where the problem is. The model lift decay indicators, which show how much change we're seeing in the lift provided by the model, are all in the red. We can see that across the board, the decay is now just over our acceptable threshold. Models may naturally fade in their lift over time, but at this point, our model has gone beyond where it should. We need to investigate what's going on with our customer retention model. To do this, we'll use SAS Model Manager 3.1. We'll open our Customer Churn project, which is all about retaining customers. As we drill down into the project, we can easily see that Model Manager maintains all the information about my models, not just how healthy they are, but all the information I listed earlier. Who did what? When did they do it? What data was used? What are the input variables? What tool was used to build the model? And so on. All of this information is tracked here in Model Manager. So again, we want to investigate our model performance. If we look at the lift, we can see that at the time the model was built, it provided a certain amount of lift, as shown here as the blue line. But the lift has degraded over time, as shown by the red line. Things have definitely changed, so the model isn't fitting as well as it used to, or isn't as healthy as it had been when originally built. The obvious question is, what do we do about it? Replacing a model in production in an organization is typically a time-consuming task. This would involve going back to the model team, having them build a new model, gathering new data, and trying to understand what might be going on to drive the decay in the model. Well, we've already done that last step with Model Manager, and we know that something has changed. We just need to rebuild the model that I already have. So instead of going back to the modeling team, we can use Model Manager to retrain the model. This means that we're going to take the model code, refresh the data, and update the code. We could produce new parameter estimates, for example. In Model Manager, we simply have to select the model we want to retrain, identify a new training data source, and where we want to put the output. Once that's done, the retraining task will bring the new model back into Model Manager, like we can see here. Here's our original model, and below it are several retraining iterations, all built on the same fundamental logic, but with more updated data. To the right, you can see again all the information that Model Manager stores for each model. This is a classification model. It happens to be an ensemble, and it was created using SAS Enterprise Miner. So now we've retrained a model and have multiple candidate models that I could use in my model deployment out of Model Manager. Let's take a look at several new features in SAS Model Manager. As you might imagine, we can manage a model built in SAS, such as from SAS Code, SAS Stat, or SAS Enterprise Miner. But in the new release, Model Manager can now register models that were built in R, the third-party open source language. All we need to do is identify the score code and the training code in R, and then bring that model into Model Manager, making it part of a production scheme. So now we can execute our model deployment process, manage the lifecycle, Monitor model performance, like we did earlier, tracking all this information in my secure repository. Another new feature of SAS Model Manager is the lifecycle, 
where we can define our own customer process by which we build and deploy models. We can now see who performed what task, when they did it, and the status of the task. We can look ahead at this project plan that hasn't even started yet. Working behind the scenes in Model Manager is a workflow engine, which allows for more control of your model deployments, more interactivity, and more collaboration. It can send notifications to individuals assigned to specific tasks, driving the process forward as activities are completed. SAS Model Manager enables all stakeholders to collaborate as they manage analytic model workflow in a cost-effective manner to derive the most ROI. Want to learn more about SAS Model Manager? Visit us online. You might want to check out some related videos on data mining, text analytics, and forecasting.